What's up guys, Eber here with Hurricane X, and I had a few parts lying around in the studio that I wanted to utilize for my next workstation PC. So I wanted to build a system with these components to see if the switch was worth it for my aging six core machine. The price of the build is on the expensive side at over 2000, but that's because we're using some exclusive components like this $400 memory kit from Corsair and a $160 AIO solution for the GPU. Anyways, this build can tear through AAA titles in 1440p and perhaps even 4K, uh, but as a bonus, you can also use this PC for content creation purposes uh, without it breaking a sweat. So allow me to walk you through the parts going inside this PC right after this. Every day, treat yourself with the best quality sound to complement any lifestyle. Your ears deserve a Sennheiser Momentum product. Move freely with the gorgeous Momentum in-ears or style it up with the Momentum in-ear wireless with the leather neckband and up to 10 hours battery life or fully zone out with active noise cancelling Momentum wireless available in over-ear or on-ear pairs. Enjoy your music with Sennheiser. Move with the Momentum. Full details in the description below. So the idea behind this build is pretty straightforward. I wanted it to feature an orange and black color scheme without going too fancy, but showcase a few components here and there. And secondly, I wanted it to be powerful, meaning it had to pretty much handle every task that I do on a regular basis. Uh, that's including content creation, gaming, and other productive tasks. Uh, some of the components that I've chosen here might not suit your taste, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on alternative parts that would have been a better fit for this build. Let's start with the case. I chose the Be Quiet Silent Base 800 full tower chassis that comes with these orange and black accents and a side window that's made out of acrylic, but not glass. Uh, this case has plenty of room to accommodate radiators at the front and the top, plus it comes with noise dampening material inside, so that should help with acoustics as well. If you're looking for more information on the Silent Base 800, we leave a link to our review video in the description down below. To embrace all these high-end hardware, we chose the MSI Z270 Gaming M7 motherboard. This board is packed with features like support for Optane, next generation U.2 connector, Audio Boost 4 Pro that features two independent audio processors with dedicated amps. You also get USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-A and Type-C ports on the rear I.O. and DDR4 slots rated for up to 4000 MHz operation. There's also three M.2 slots, built-in RGB lighting alongside a dedicated LED header and much more. For the CPU, we chose the Core i7-7700K that overclocks like a monster, hitting as far as 5 GHz. And remember, modern titles love processors with higher frequencies, so this chip would be perfect for that task. Plus, with 4 physical cores and 8 threads, it can also provide a seamless experience for content creation. Our choice for memory might be overkill for some of you, but I seriously think it blends in really well with the build. Meet the Corsair Dominator Platinum Special Edition Torque with 32GB of DDR4 memory clocked at 3200MHz. Talk about premium quality RAM modules, and I think Corsair nailed it. The hot rod finish at the top trades design elements from the automotive industry, and albeit I've never seen a RAM module this good ever before. Everything from the brushed aluminum finish to the engraved Corsair logo screams perfection. It also comes with XMP 2.0 profile out of the box that automatically adjusts to the fastest safe speed for your kit. To cool the 7700K, we chose the NZXT X62 AIO cooler featuring a 280mm radiator. And what's unique about this cooler is obviously that Infinity Edge mirror display right at the heart of the CPU block. It just looks gorgeous, and I cannot take my eyes away from it. Plus, with the added features like RGB lighting and various lighting effects, it works out really well with the color scheme that I was going for in the first place. Storage was not really a concern for me because I was easily able to hide the red enclosed 240GB Corsair Neutron XDI SSD at the back of the chassis, but it's plenty fast for what we need, and to expand our game library, I chose the Western Digital Caviar Blue 4TB drive, so I don't think I'll ever need to think about running out of space, at least for now. Moving on to our most important part of a gaming PC, the GPU, we decided to throw a liquid-cooled GTX 1080 Ti inside the case because it had the room for a 140mm radiator. If you want to learn more about how I replaced the Founders Edition cooler with this setup, I'll leave a link to that video in the description down below. But to sum it up, I mounted an X42 cooler with the help of the G12 bracket provided by NZXT, and the end result were lower temperatures and consistent clock speeds well above 1835MHz. We'll get into the benchmarks shortly. Powering the entire build is the Be Quiet Straight Power 10 700W ATX power supply. 
With its 80 plus gold rating, it can easily handle extensive upgrades in the future, plus it boasts awesome efficiency. And guys, it's be quiet, so expect quieter operations under load, thanks to the built-in Silent Wings fan. And now taking a look at the final build, I'm pretty happy with the way how it turned out. There's definitely more room for improvement. For example, I would have opted for the pure base 600TG mid tower case with the orange accents, and given the popularity for tempered glass, the build would have looked even better. But hey, I'm not complaining. The Kraken coolers are doing a fantastic job of both cooling and showcasing the orange LED lighting. It's simple and it blends in really well with the build. So, what kind of performance can we expect from a build that costs $2,400? Well, I rendered a 1 minute 4K video using Premiere Pro CC 2017 and compared the results to my primary 6 core editing machine and the results do speak for themselves. I did overclock the chip to 4.6 GHz and as you can see, the machine outperformed my editing rig by 13 seconds. It's not a huge difference to be honest, but when rendering larger project files, the gap would expand yielding faster results on the 7700K compared to my aging 6 core PC. On to gaming, and like I mentioned earlier, this machine tears through AAA titles at 1440p. Starting with Battlefield 1 at 1440p set to Ultra, it averaged well over 100 frames per second. Overwatch at 1440p set to Epic gave us just a tad below 130 frames per second. Doom at 1440p set to Ultra using the Vulcan API averaged a little over 175 frames per second. And finally, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Violence which is a highly demanding title, averaged about 87 frames per second. So there's no denying for the fact that this is a very capable gaming and video editing PC. I might even consider switching to this rig right after I publish this video, because it's really that good. It's time to take illumination seriously with Vengeance RGB DDR4 memory by Corsair. With incredibly bright LEDs and uniform color spread, add a touch of classic color that is fully software controllable and compatible with a wide variety of Intel and AMD platforms. More info in the description below. So guys, there you have it. I'd love to hear your thoughts about the orange and black PC that's sitting right there beside me. Obviously, I could have brought down the cost of this build by going with a less expensive memory kit, a CPU cooler that's air-cooled, uh, and an aftermarket GPU solution. But do you agree with my component selection, or do you have any suggestions that might have been a better fit for this build? Uh, let us know in the comments down below. I'm Ebro with Hurricane X. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more similar content, and we'll see you in the next one.